But Saw Dudes, in one of our last videos, we exposed Jasmine from 90 Day Fiance, AKA your favorite vegan fitness influencer. Why is he giving you $2,000? Now he's gonna expect something from you. Uh -huh. Like what? Why, why is he Yeah, that's the question. Like what? What do you think he's gonna expect? Nothing, because he is an altruist person. He does charity. <laughs> when it's time to pay the bill for all these cosmetic procedures, Jingle, get over here and pay the doctor the bill, you idiot! I wish I have done that last night. I wish. Ah, okay, let's talk about something actually important now, Socks. Did y'all see the news that Liz has a new man? Funny enough, when I first saw this news break out and saw the picture of what this dude looks like, right away I noticed he has a neck. So I don't think that that's her type. But it, uh, no, but seriously, once I first saw the photo, I thought to myself, huh, they look awfully similar. At first I thought that this guy was Liz's brother and they were trying to troll to generate more interest in her and Ed's segment because they've been known to troll in the past. For example, a couple months back, this photo leaked and was making its rounds around the internet of Ed pretending to be on a date with this girl. And right away, the comments were flooded with confused 90 Day Fiance fans asking, why would a girl that looks like this be on a date with Ed. 90 Day The Single Life star Liz Woods has been teasing fans on social media by sharing cryptic photos of her new boyfriend. And now the man's photo has finally been revealed. Liz, 30, began dating Big Ed Brown in The Single Life season one after his split with Rose Vega. So this is um, mouthwash. This your breath is not um, pretty. Last night when I noticed that your legs were kind of like mine, <laughs> they were hairy. What? Big Ed was a regular visitor at the restaurant where Liz was working. Liz agreed to date Big Ed, but the couple struggled in the relationship thanks to Big Ed's liking to rush things. While that was the reason behind their first breakup, 13 more splits followed. All of which we've covered on the channel, Socks. If you want to brush up on the Big Ed Liz lore, be sure to check out those old videos. Big Ed and Liz's current split seems to be the last one for them as she's been flaunting a new man on Instagram. This Twitter user Shibuti posted, yes, I'm confirming that's Liz's new boyfriend. I knew this before most people when he DM me out of the blue a week ago, but I know how to pick friendship over clicks and no, I'm not upset. Okay, that's a weird caption. I don't know what that means, but right here you can see their faces. So this is Liz's new boo and then this is Liz. Meanwhile, someone mentioned she's still married though, referring to the rumors of Big Ed and Liz's wedding in August, 2023. A now deleted wedding website had confirmed that the couple had tied the knot in front of their close friends and family during a wedding ceremony and reception held on August 29th, 2023. In Bentonville, Arkansas, Big Ed and Liz had moved from San Diego to Arkansas after filming 90 Day The Last Resort, which had surprisingly ended on a happy note for them. They reportedly had bought a house together, but while Big Ed is now working as a realtor in Arkansas, Liz had been spending time in San Diego. Liz started posting about her new man around November 2023. Liz made sure to never show the man's face in the photos from her date nights, but his body did not look like it belonged to Big Ed. Considering Big Ed and Liz may have gotten married, their breakup after the wedding may have been due to major reasons that is yet revealed. Big Ed had sparked speculation that they filmed for 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After season eight, which premieres in March, 2024. Fans have noticed how Liz is looking different now from how she used to look back when she was with Big Ed. Liz not only seems happier, but also healthier as she seems to have lost weight. 90 Day The Single Life viewers were also disapproving of her relationship with Big Ed. The pairing was toxic and making one wrong decision after another on camera as they struggled to see the problems they had between them. Liz leaving Big Ed was just a rumor until she began flaunting her new boyfriend on Instagram. With his face now being revealed, it's safe to assume that Big Ed and Liz have indeed gone their separate ways. I see a lot of comments celebrating that Liz is done with Ed and she's moved on with this new guy. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but if that is the case, yes, you can celebrate that this guy has a neck. Yes, you can celebrate that anything after Ed is probably better than Ed because Ed's a little narcissist. Absolutely, I agree with that. However, what I'm never going to agree with is that Liz should enter a relationship with this guy in the first place because Liz needs to take time to figure out who she is and what she wants and how she wants to hold herself as a woman because she keeps attracting dog water dudes. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because for her and all the other cringe cast members that enter relationships with people without that grace period of self-reflection, what they need to realize is that 
You're using these relationships as a distraction from leveling up, from sitting with yourself and starting to figure out why you had the last bad relationship, right? It's also Gino. It's also Brand Lane. When we first saw Brandon on 90 Day Fiance, he communicated to the audience that his last relationship, he got cheated on and I was really struggling with my self-worth and my mental health was suffering. And instead of getting through that himself, he relied on Mary, another broken human being, to latch onto. You know why? Because it's a distraction from working on yourself. Because how do you work on yourself when you're FaceTiming your little girlfriend on the other side of the world 24 seven? Bobby, I don't need self-worth when I have you because you give me that self-worth, Bobby. You're the whole reason for my existence. Notice how you spend the most time with yourself. She wasn't there when you were experiencing all that suffering as a kid. When your mother chose drugs over you, she wasn't there. When you moved in with your dad and you told the audience that he was very aggressive, Mary wasn't there, you were there. So why is it that you put this girl on a pedestal and you give her all this time and energy and money, yet you don't do that for you. You're perfectly content living in an RV and trying to explain to the audience that you have everything that you need. Isn't it great? Dude, you're pouring a jug of water after you flush a toilet. Right away, if anyone else was in your situation, they would try to level themselves up and get their money up, get their funny up, get their fitness up. What happened to pride? What happened to taking pride in your life and giving yourself all the things that you deserve? And it's not just Brandon. Lately, a lot of y'all have sent me videos of this guy called Rob the Knob. Walk me through this, bro, because you're sending me into outer orbit. From the clip that I saw of Rob the Knob, this dude doesn't even have a bathroom in his house but he's trying to shell out all this time and energy to attract this girl Sophie in his life and talk about having a kid with her. Why do broke people wanna have children? Children are expensive, that makes no sense. And speaking on that, the other day I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw that Mary could potentially be having another kid with Brandon. Very shaking her dumper for all the guys on the internet, but wants to pop out another kid with Brandon. That is so stressful, my guy. You're not allowed to work on the internet. You're not allowed to have your own YouTube channel. When, before y'all went on the show, I'm sure that those were the conversations that were had that you're gonna be social media influencers, which is why you went on the show. It wasn't a share your love story. That's a load of malarkey. We all know why the majority of you guys go on the TV show. And here's another thing. For Rob the Knob, of course he's a wannabe model from LA. Of course. Here's what they should do, to be honest. Because there's so many couples that are disingenuous, you should not allow people from LA to be on the show because obviously they're affected. They're going on the show for cloud purposes. Guess who else is from LA? Shekinah. Maybe not originally, but she lived in LA at the time that she went on the show, 90 Day Fiance, and she's been there for a long time. And she was on a previous show before that. I was raised in an Amish community. And did you have did to I? do like church every minute and all that? Yeah, church and homeschool. What has been going on with you? Tell me a little bit, give me a little, give me a little back history. Sure. Let's, let's, yeah. Let's go. So, so baby daddy. Sophie's dad. Um, let's see. I started working at a little restaurant, and it was Sophie's dad's restaurant. So I met him. My beautiful wet socks. This is our year. Fitness goals, financial goals, personal goals, spiritual goals, all the goals. We're leveling up as people, and I'm so proud of you. Now, I want you to do me a favor. Check out our Amazon storefront because we got a lot of mad luxurious items. Also, if you want some one-on-one -on -one time with me, please order a cameo. I'm the number one cameo creator in the entire world. It's not even close. And uh, super thankful that y'all watch my content. Comment below, subscribe. Let's do it, let's do it. Follow me on Twitch and on Instagram right now.